Welcome to our ADM Lucid Automation Testing channel. We'll have a series of talks about Selenium Automation Testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium Automation Project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we will talk about the Selenium IDE. So the Selenium IDE is a browser automation tool and integrated development environment primarily using, uh, used for automating web browsers. Uh, you, can use, you can use the Selenium IDE as a browser extension for Firefox and Chrome, and it allows you to record and playback interactions with a web page. And this makes it easier to create automated tasks and scripts for web application testing and web scraping. So below, there's three main general, like general functionalities of the Selenium IDE. The first is it allows you to record and playback. So Selenium IDE allows you to record your interactions with a website, such as clicks, form submissions, and other actions, and then you can play it back. Also, the Selenium IDE allows you to do scripting. So you can edit and enhance the recorded scripts using the interacted, uh, integrated code editor. And this enables you to customize and add conditions, loops, and more to your automated tests. And the final function that we want to focus on is the cross, uh, the cross browser capability, uh, capability. And so the Selenium IDE is available as a browser extension for both Firefox and Chrome, allowing you to automate tasks in these popular web browsers. Uh, and here we have four more main functions of the Slim IDE. So first, export and playback. Um, using the Slim IDE, you can export your recorded scripts and play them back in different browsers and environments using Selenium WebDriver. Next is assertion and verification. So the Slim IDE supports various assertions and uh, verification commands that help you verify the state and behavior of web elements during automation. The, uh, the third thing on this page is flow control. So Selenium IDE, it provides commands for flow control, such as loops and conditions, uh, which allow you to create more complex automation scripts. The fourth thing is data-driven testing, which we talked about in our previous video as well. Uh, check out our series if you, have an, uh, if you want to refresh your memory about data-driven testing. But using Selenium IDE, you can create data-driven tests by reading data from external sources like comma-separated files uh, or databases as well. So how do you use the Slim IDE? So the first thing you have to do, obviously, is you have to install Slim IDE on Chrome or Firefox. And I'll just show you how to do that later, after. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can launch the IDE. And once you launch the IDE on your browser, um, there are a few things that you need to install. So here we have Slim Side Runner, Slim Chrome Driver, Edge Driver, uh, Geeko driver, uh, and we'll show you how to do this later. And um, and yeah, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can install some IDE. So you can just, for example, click uh, the Firefox. So I will click Firefox here. And essentially, you just download your Firefox extension here. And after you download and install it, you can open your extension for uh, for Firefox uh, for the Slim IDE uh, on your Firefox browser uh, right here under this icon, and you can click that, and essentially it'll open your Selenium IDE, and you can work with it from here. Next, I'm going to show you how we can use the Slim IDE and the various functionalities that we talked about previously. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to open Firefox where we have the extension already installed. So go open Firefox, click here, and then you click the extension. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project, and I'm just going to name it uh, video because it's the project we're making for this video. So I'm going to click OK, and now that you opened up and created your own project, you can go ahead and create some test in your project. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a test. I'm going to call it home and click add. And once we get to here, uh, we will come here and we will click, uh, we will enter a URL. So I'm gonna use the URL HTTPS 
dash dash ADM lucid dot com. And I'll enter that. And once you have that there, you can now click record and it will record your video. So it's going to go to admlucid.com here. You can scroll down. I'm going to click this read more, come scroll down and exit. And then I'm going to stop the recording. And that is basically the, uh, the commands that we recorded. So that's for home. So I'm going to delete this one because this is not what we created. Uh, I'm going to add some two more tests. So the next one I'm going to create is going to be called golf. And then I'm going to use the same website here and I'm going to record. This time I'm going to go to here. I'm going to click golf course. I'm going to click book golf course. Come down here, maybe like change, enter some dates or something. Uh, click create and then close. So that's, I'm going to click stop recording. So that's golf. Next, I'm going to create one called web elements. And I'm going to add that. I'm going to click record. I'm going to go to our website, go to web element. I'm going to click some buttons, click some more buttons, and then exit that and stop recording. And those are our three tests. So now I'm just going to save this project and I'm just going to name it video. Okay, so once we save that and when we want to run these tests, we can either click here and run all three tests at the same time, or we can run each test individually. Um, since the slim ID is a little bit slower, let's just run each test individually first. So I'll click here and we'll give it some time to load. It does take a little bit more time for slim ID. So you see it opens up our home page. And for this test, we expect it to scroll down and click read more. So it is taking its time to run and there we go. Um, unfortunately, it was not able. To, oh, this was the golf one that we just ran actually. And unfortunately it wasn't able to, um, it wasn't able to run it. Uh, but yeah, that's not the problem we have right now. Uh, but that's that, yeah. So that one was not able to run. We can go ahead and go here and let us show you. So that's the record and playback basically. You can record a set of commands and then you can tell Selenium IDE to play back those commands. So the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you export. So basically for export, you can click here, you can click on test suites instead. And so this is your default suite. You're going to have to add some tests to this default suite. So you can add the golf test we had, the home test we had, the web element test we had and click select. And now this suite will have all of these tests in it. And you can actually click those three dots and click export and you can export your, your three commands, uh, three tests um, in the language you want. So if you want Java J unit, just click export and then you can just do that. We can save it and you can just go ahead and run that in your uh, native language uh, for that. Now, the final thing I want to show you is I want to show you how we can run, um, how we can run this uh, on your command line. So in order to run these tests on your command line, basically what you have to do is, uh, for us first, I'm going to go ahead and save any changes we made to these tests. I'm going to click save. Yes. Okay. So to, to run this on a command line, first, let's just open a command line. And next, what you'll have to do is, um, if you haven't already, uh, like we said earlier in the PowerPoint, you're going to have to install some various things. So first thing you're going to install is npm install g slim side runner. I'm not going to install it because it'll take a little bit of time to run, but go ahead and run that command and install that. The next thing you need to install is this, which is uh, a Chrome driver. This third thing you need to install is edge driver. The fourth thing you need to install is a uh, Geekle driver, which is for uh, Firefox. And after you install those, now you can go ahead and run your test. So what you'll do is you will uh, enter basically this command. And then I have it in my directory here. And I, I, I have it named as video.side. And you can go ahead and click enter. And you can basically run it from the command line like that. And you see it uses Chrome as its default browser right here. Um, 
but yeah, so it's running again because um, the IDE is a little bit slower than running it using Java, uh, so it takes a little bit longer. But you see it ran its first test, now it's running the second test, and now it's running the third test. Okay, there, it ran three tests, and it'll show you a bit of the results that uh, occurred. So it took 46 seconds to run all three tests. And if you want to change the browser, you just basically have to add the flag browser name equals Firefox, for example, for Firefox, uh, before you run. And so I'm not going to run that because it'll just take another 40 seconds. But what I want to show you is I want to show you how you can actually paralyze this process to hopefully make it run a little bit faster. So go ahead and open your Selenium IDE again and go to your test suite here and you click here and you click settings. And now you can run uh, run in parallel. You check that and you submit and again, you save that again. So now all your configurations are changed. And now you can go ahead and run it again. But this time I'm actually gonna use a, um, I'm gonna use Firefox as the browser instead. So I can show you not only running in parallel but also using a different browser. So I will, uh, I will copy this command over here, and I'm going to write uh, video dot side, and I'm going to click enter, and this time it should run it in parallel, and we see that uh, no matching projects found. So that is not supposed to happen. So I will see what we did wrong. I'm going to go back to our IDE and I'm going to go ahead and save this again. And yeah, it's named video. So save that. Okay. And I'm going to click this again. And let me try it again this time without the tag. So run and this time it's running the first one first test and it ran all three and this time when we paralyzed it it was much faster it took only 22 seconds and yeah, so those are the three main functionalities of uh, the Slim ID in the browser. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Uh, we, we wanted to give you a sort of a general introduction of how to use the Slim ID in the browser. But um, what we do suggest is if you have larger projects, you should keep on using Selenium in Java or some other languages because they run much faster. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for any new videos. Thank you.